and welcome once again to another edition of the Red, Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, I think we're hitting winter. I think we're there. I would agree. <laughs> and let me ask you this though. Do you find that you get more calls after a long winter when people have been shut into their houses? Their houses start feeling really small. Is that yeah. true? The winter time is definitely a time that you figure out if you're ready to move into a larger home. And, you know, the kids have been running around all winter and there's not as much playing outside. And all of a sudden you want a little bit more square footage. So what we're going to do today is save <laughs> you that that horrible stress unless you go ahead and get your new house now. There you go. Let's show them five listings of some houses that you really want to show. Okay, sounds good. All right, the first one, let's do the mm -hmm. first one that's reduced on the mm -hmm. price because this is a motivated seller. This is. This is a motivated seller and this is one that I wanted to bring up again. One, the price is reduced and two, mm -hmm. it's in a really popular area right now because we have a lot of people that, you know, maybe the husband works in Pikeville and the wife works in Paintsville or Prestonsburg or something like that and this is one of those houses that's going to work really, really well for couples who are driving both ways. Right, and this one is on Weddington Lane. It says Prestonsburg, but it's more between Prestonsburg and Allen. Correct, correct, in the Emma area, actually. Right, this, which means if you're going north on uh, US 23, you'll mm -hmm. turn right at the Allen Red Lights mm -hmm. and go out that road. I think there's a lift across the bridge into that area. Correct, correct. All right, well, this, this is a nice house and nearly 2,000 square feet. It's not small. It's not. It's not small at all. It's a typical two-story house, so it's, it's a straight up and down two-story, and then it's got an attached two-car garage, a very very attractive style of house. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of layout allows for large bedrooms. It's got four nice size bedrooms on the second floor, um, two full baths, and then something that's a little bit unique is you've got an attached garage, and in that attached garage, you have another full bathroom out there. So if you still have somebody working in the mines, or you like to play outside and, yes. and do all that kind of stuff in the four-wheeling. So you've, you've basically got a very large mudroom. There you go. <laughs> and that's really convenient for, like you said, active people who are outdoorsy. Mm -hmm. Maybe their job lets them get a little bit dirty or they get dirty when they play. And then I see that they have done a lot of, of updates in the last few years. Yes. The, uh, they actually, since about 2009, have done quite a few updates. And it's everything from small things like uh, replacing sheetrock over paneling that was there previously, mm -hmm. to some new paint, replacing a vanity in a bathroom, to they've also done some bigger things. It's got a new septic tank, new hot water heater, um, a new heat pump on the second floor. So they've taken care of a lot of those bigger issues as well. And those are things that, that sometimes you find as a bump in the road when you're looking for a new home. Exactly. Um, but you can rest assured on this one, they've already taken care of those things. Exactly. And they've reduced the price. They have. It's just gotten reduced to 133, which, like you said, it's almost a 2,000 square foot house. So for that money, this is a great buy. And, and you said it again, right mm -hmm. off US 23 mm -hmm. between Prestonsburg and Pikeville. So convenient to Pikeville, Prestonsburg, or Paintsville. Mm -hmm. Definitely one worth looking at, like you said, under $135,000. That doesn't happen very often. It doesn't. Now, Jennifer, this is your listing, but I want to mm -hmm. mention something about listings because you guys have four offices and that can handle any of your area. Oh, absolutely. We have offices all the way up and down US 23 from Louisa to Pikeville. So any of these listings, if you know somebody that works out of our Louisa or Paintsville office, one mm -hmm. of our agents, please feel free to call them because they have the information just like we do. Okay. Now 105588 is that MLS number and we've we've stressed before how important it is to say that number when you call. It Absolutely. just pulls that listing up and gets you that much faster into that house. Absolutely. Okay. Now moving along, we've got one that's been completely renovated mm -hmm. on this next one and it's in Pikeville, Redbird Lane. Yes, and if you're familiar where that is, it's we're kind of moving uh, down 23, I guess, technically. Mm -hmm. um, but this is right on the Pike Floyd County line, uh, right, right over the Hurricane Bridge. Right, and that's a, another convenient location. Mm -hmm. Very. Because, you know, you're not far from Pikeville. You're just out of Pikeville, I guess you could say. The way the city limits are, is, is a right. little bit odd. Um, but you're not far from Floyd County, which means Prestonsburg. And US 23 is a huge travel corridor for so many areas. Exactly, exactly. And like you said, this house has been completely renovated. Um, it's a split foyer style home. Mm -hmm. So total, you've got about 2,300 square feet of finished living space. Some of that is below grade because of the style of the house. Right. But um, an absolutely beautiful home. Like you said, completely redone. 
Um, you know, it's got the formal living room. It's got an oversized family room that's downstairs. This is one that you definitely can grow into. And I love the kitchen and the cabinets in there. Mm -hmm. Someone has, has taken time to pick out every little detail that's in this house. Yes, yes, and they have definitely spared no expense with the upgrades. You know, it's got the hardwood throughout, um, and this is one that they've really taken the time with. And I see that it's got a big flat lot too, mm -hmm. and you know, so many times around here, you get a, just enough to put a house on and hillside <laughs> all around you, but this is, um, one that's got some flat space. It does. It has a nice yard. If somebody wanted to do a pool or mm -hmm. they wanted to do something outdoors, you do have a little bit of space to play with out there. And I see that they've poured concrete on their driveway and mm -hmm. a lot of parking area. So, you know, that's something that people have to look at now. You know, we don't have just one vehicle and a lot of families. Exactly. A lot of families, you get your teenagers driving, you've got more <laughs> drivers and you've got space for your cars. Exactly, and this has a two-car attached garage, but like you said, you also have a driveway that would allow you to park multiple other cars. Okay, well definitely one worth looking at on Redbird Lane, uh, right at the Pike-Floyd County line, 106198. Now this is out of the Pikeville office. It is, this is out of the Pikeville office, and it's a brand new listing, so okay. anybody that likes that area, please feel free to give the Pikeville office a call. All right, and, and that is 2695 is mm -hmm. the price on that. That's Let's, uh, the phone number for the Pikeville office real Okay, quick. that number is 606-437-2333. All right, moving along, um, now this one's also in Pike County, a mm -hmm. little bit farther back toward the city of Pikeville, and this mm -hmm. is uh, just off of Cowpen. That's correct. Um, and this is right fork of Cowpen, and then you go up about a half mile, take the left turn up the hill to Haynes Village, to that area. And I see that the one thing I like about this home is it's a ranch home. It is. So, you know, if you've got an elderly couple or, mm -hmm. or any, you just may not like steps for your health reasons or anything like that. Anytime you've got a ranch home, that makes it convenient. Yes, and this is a nice size ranch home. This is about 1,300 square feet, but um, being in the house, I can tell you that it's laid out to where you ha you feel like you have a lot of space mm -hmm. in the house. You have a formal living room. You have a large family room that's actually an enclosed garage size, so that kind of gives you an idea of how large the family room is. Um, and then you've got the three bedrooms. In addition to that, they actually just renovated the kitchen not too long ago, and the kitchen is one of the nicest kitchens. I think we've got a picture. We do. In the slides going through, very nice, spacious kitchen with a lot of cabinets, especially for when you think of a kitchen in a 1,300 square foot house. Mm -hmm. This kitchen will blow your mind. Well, and considering we're coming off of Thanksgiving when we mm -hmm. realized how small our kitchens were, <laughs> but we can look ahead to Christmas. So if someone wanted to, they could be in this house and have Christmas in a spacious kitchen. Yes, and I'll tell you, this would be a great house for for Christmas simply because of that layout. Mm -hmm. we, you've got the bar area that looks into the living room from the kitchen, and then that's all open to the family room. So it would be a great space for a large gathering. $79,000, you mm -hmm. don't find that very often. You don't, and this is one, and, and when they listed it, they they know that it needs a little bit of love. This mm -hmm. is a house that needs a little bit of TLC. Like I said, they have done some renovations to it, but it does need somebody to come in and freshen up some paint and probably do some new carpet, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is one that you can get for a really decent price and then customize it to what you want. This is that house. Right. And that is popular these days. Mm -hmm. with you watch HGTV yeah. <laughs> and all that stuff, and it's projects, projects, projects. Mm -hmm. Well, this is one you move into and you can do whatever you want. $79,000 for this house on Hange Village, and that's mm -hmm. on the right fork of Calpin. Correct. 106277 is that MLS number, and give you a call. Yeah, absolutely. They can call us in the Pikeville office again, 606-437-2333. And your email. jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. Now, the next one is one we, that we've done before, and I mm -hmm. really love this listing because it's one of those, you talk about a clean slate, Yes. This one you can go commercial or residential or even both. Yes. This one's in Coal Run. Yes, this one's in Coal Run, and like you said, we have talked about it before. I included it again today because it does have a price reduction, mm -hmm. so I wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of that. But this is one that I really want to stress that if you have a need for multi-use property, this is a great property to look at. And you've got 5,300 square feet above grade and another 1,400 below grade, I mean, that's huge. Yeah, it's huge and it's all finished. So you're, I'm not talking below grade that is used as storage. I mean, it is finished space with a tile floor, a bathroom downstairs, so it's completely usable. 
And, you know, commercial property, this, mm -hmm. this is great. And I think you've mentioned before parking. Yeah. There's parking. Now, of parking. So if you're going north on US 23 and you leave Pikeville and mm -hmm. you get into the coal run, um, it's on your right up on the hill. Kind of overlooks where the state police post and things like that are. Right. And this is another one that really is a clean slate. They, it's got fresh paint. It's got the new hardwood floors. But it really doesn't have the customization in it. It doesn't have the, you know, most of the walls are white. Anybody can go in and do anything they want to with this space. And it's a lot of open space, a lot of windows. Mm -hmm. So it really has a lot of potential. All right. And this one is in Coal Run, mm -hmm. just up on the, the hill to the right if you're going north. So 105117. The price on that one, 575000 That's correct. For nearly 7,000 square feet. Exactly. I had to say that one more time. <laughs> All right. Now, the last one we're going to do today mm -hmm. is we'll surprise you because when you say where it is and then you look at the pictures, it almost doesn't fit. It's a very rural area. This is Ash Camp. That's correct. But this house is amazing. Exactly. <laughs> so anybody that is interested in that area, this is definitely a house to look at. Um, this is one, it's a 3,600 square foot, almost new construction, it's a couple years old, um, four bedroom, two and a half bath, a lot of space. Obviously with 3,600 square feet, you would expect that, but you've got a recreation room that's on the second floor that you can almost play basketball in, it feels so big. And you've got an in-ground pool, mm -hmm. you've got a jacuzzi, you've got a big flat yard mm -hmm. that, you know, if you want to do some gardening or anything like that, you've got the space to do it. And if you're not familiar with Ash Camp, it sounds like we were kidding about it being <laughs> kind of out in the country, but it's convenient because you can go through Elkhorn Creek mm -hmm. and then come out on US 23. Correct. Um, in a couple different places. So it's convenient to a lot of areas. It is. If you have anything that's going on towards the Letcher County direction, if you're working in Pikeville and you just don't want to be in the hustle and bustle, this is a great area. And then, of course, you're close to Elkhorn City. So mm -hmm. anybody that travels in those directions, this is a great option. Well, and then we, we have talked recently, you know, on my other job, about the new US 460. Mm -hmm. That's going to be complete within a couple of years from Pikeville to Elkhorn City. So that's right. going to make the ash camp in this area so much quicker as far as accessibility. And then you forgot to mention, you've got the Brake Center State Park, probably exactly. within a 20-minute drive. Yeah, exactly. It's really convenient to a lot of things. You can tell that when it was built, it was built custom. This house, it's got the walk-in closet and the master with all the built-ins and all the customization in there. You've got a tile shower, you've got recessed lighting and tray ceilings and, you know, they really went above and beyond. I will, I want to make sure and disclose with this one, it is a bank-owned property. Okay. So everything with this one, it's being sold as is. There's no guarantees or warranties with anything on this house and all the home systems are unknown. So it's one that we always want to push a home inspection and a termite inspection. But again, this is one that you could really get the home of your dreams for a really great price. Right. Under $200,000 mm -hmm. for this home in Pike County at Ash Camp. And we just told you how much more accessible it's getting ready to be. And it's not that bad now. It's really not at all. All right. Great location. 106280 is that MLS number. And Jennifer, this is your listing. Brand this new is listing mine. for you. Brand new for me, yes. And they can give me a call in the Pikeville office, 606 437 2333. All right. Well, that summarizes our five listings today. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we've given everybody something to think about. I hope so. Um, <laughs> one last thing we want to mention that all of these listings and everything else that they have, actually, they can access from, access from your website everything listed in Eastern Kentucky. That's correct. All of our listings, of course, are on our website, which I'm sure is on the screen right now. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, there is a link to go to the EKAR website, which is our area board, where you can get all of the area listings. Which you and any of your agents can show. Absolutely. We can show any listing that's on there. And then I always tell people, especially out of the area, if you're mm -hmm. watching this online instead of um, on the TV station, mm -hmm. you can always go to Realtor.com and pull up any of the listings as well. Okay. Now you have lots more options than you <laughs> thought you had. Um, but I'm going to step away now because it's time to do your Real Estate Minute. Buying a home is a big decision and probably one of the most important financial decisions you will make in your lifetime. As realtors, we work hard to find homes that fit the needs of a potential buyer. One factor that typically isn't negotiable when buying a home is the price range and keeping a future home in a particular budget that works for you. 
A huge mistake some buyers make is overextending themselves with a mortgage and not taking into consideration the other monies needed to make a house a home. When you're preparing to look at homes or ready to buy, make sure you plan ahead for regular home maintenance, insurance, taxes, upgrades, in addition to your upcoming mortgage payment. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Rev. Williams Show. We hope to see you soon.